Now, a healthy smile goes a long way for everyone, and through Abilene Dental, you can get just that. We have Dr. Christy Leedy here from Abilene Dental, and she's returning to discuss the importance of making your dental dollars go farther before 2013. Thank you so much, Dr. Leedy, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, go ahead and tell us exactly what does that mean? Well, today we got our first call. We knew it was coming, but talking about the um, medical device tax that goes into effect January mm -hmm. 1. And so with that, all of the lab bills are going up, all of the dental equipment is going up, uh, devices like dental implants. So if you need mm -hmm. dental implants or um, procedures that require lab work, right. you particularly want to look at doing that in 2012 mm -hmm. because that cost, of course, is going to be passed on. You know, the other thing we saw, we've talked about some, is dental insurance. Right. You know, if you don't use it, you lose it. That benefit does not right. roll over. And what we're seeing, too, at the end of the year, that more and more of the um, insurance benefits are the premiums going up, but the mm -hmm. benefit amount is going down, or the things that they allow right. in a benefit is going down. So don't assume just because it's covered this year that it'll be covered next year. You know, really need to look at that. Wow. Um, if you have a health savings account, um, that may be a way to help utilize some pre-tax dollars towards your dentistry. Right. And then your um, uh, benefit savings account where you have set aside money already for the year. Many of those people don't realize that if you don't use them, you lose them as well. Yeah. So there's a lot of things like that that right here at the end of the year can come into play. The last one that surprised me um, when I was doing my research today had to do with your uh, the amount you can deduct. So with your medical and dental expenses combined, mm -hmm. um, the adjusted, the percent it can be is 10% next year versus 7.5 this year. So it could really make a difference in your tax bill as well. So if, if your family has medical procedures or dental procedures um, that you need to combine, put mm -hmm. them together right. in order to make that uh, a benefit for your taxes, that's something to look at. So, so folks really have only less than, <laughs> yeah, less than two right. months to get that that's done. That's exactly right. And how can that translate in the big picture, like if they just cannot make it to the office by then, I mean, how can that really make an effect on the wallet? Yeah, it makes a big effect, and particularly, like I said, if you have an insurance benefit that's a 1000 or $1,500 a year, um, January 1st, that's gone. So wow. if you know you need some dental treatment, you know, it's best to get started on it as soon as possible. And um, it's particularly if you've already been told you have some treatment that right. is needed. But uh, that's why we're talking about it today because exactly. in a few weeks it'll be too late. The you know? dentist offices so. are going to be flooding <laughs> with phone right. calls now that's because exactly they only right. have a few time, a few yeah. days really, yeah. and we do to save those cents. We have now three doctors in our office, but we even try to add some hours towards the end of the, end of the year because wow. of that. You know, um, people just don't realize it, and it sneaks up on us all right. every year. Well, thank you so much for letting us get the word out as well thank on you. how to save the money in our wallets. You can <laughs> you can always make an appointment here. At Abilene Dental. Just call the number on your screen or head over to their offices off Buffalo Gap Road. Also check them out on Facebook and Twitter.